A Sanford firefighter avoids jail time for his role in the Capitol Hill riot. Andrew Williams was sentenced today, but tonight his future with the fire department is still up in the air. New 6's Amanda Castro is asking the city what comes next. Sanford firefighter Andrew Williams avoided jail time, but he's still being punished as part of a plea deal for his role during the Capitol riot. New 6 wasn't allowed to record the federal hearing, but we listened in. Federal prosecutors say Williams was among the group of rioters who stormed the Capitol on January 6, 2021, walking through the federal building for 20 minutes, eventually making his way to the offices of the Speaker of the House, taking this photo and sending it to friends. Prosecutors say he, quote, relished what he did and cheered, quote, we're storming the Capitol, adding the firefighter betrayed the public's trust. But Williams' attorney claims he wasn't there that day to riot or participate in violence or vandalism. Instead, he says Williams, quote, got caught up in the moment of that day. He referenced 67 character letters sent on Williams' behalf, including from fellow firefighters who asked the judge for leniency so he can continue serving the citizens of Sanford. Williams also read a statement saying, quote, I am ashamed and, quote, I take full responsibility for my actions. He also asked the judge for mercy. Federal prosecutors were seeking jail time. Williams could have been sentenced up to six months behind bars. Instead, the judge sentenced him to two years probation, and he was ordered to complete 60 hours of community service. His attorney telling us he couldn't comment on the hearing. Williams remains on administrative leave without pay. New 6 reached out to Sanford Fire and city officials, who say now that the federal judge imposed a sentence, they can move forward with an internal investigation. The city releasing a statement that says in part, quote, the Sanford Fire Department will commence an internal investigation expeditiously and efficiently as possible to determine any violations of city policies. Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.